Red Flag Over Paris is a game that uses the same system as Mark Herman's Fort Sumter. Players fight over military control of the Paris area, as well as trying to win the hearts and minds of the French population. It's an interesting game, and in this video we will share our thoughts on it. This is Legendary Tactics. All right, Red Flag Over Paris. Yes, we, sir. <laughs> We've I, I'll, I'll, I've heard a lot about this game in the past. There's been a few people in the in our comments section who have said that we really need to check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was we really have, happy to see it hit uh, rally the troops too. That was neat that they put it up in there now. So that's great. Yeah, and and especially and I'll touch on this. I found the rules a little bit yeah counterintuitive. So having the the rules enforcement uh, in learning the game was so helpful. Um, but yes, uh, that's that's always a nice bonus with. Uh, with like with a well put together digital version. Yes, absolutely. So, what did you like about this game, Cax? I really liked the card events. I loved I loved the push and pull on the main uh, the political and uh, social boards there. I, I love that part. Yes, excellent. Yeah, yeah. I find the the events are uh, interesting without being. I didn't feel any of them are really like overpowered. Um, obviously, some are stronger than others, but um, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I found actually very little in the, in all the games we've played that it, it doesn't usually come to you triggering one of your events that I've played or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So I find that it, um, sometimes in Twilight Struggle, you, you know, because it, it, it's got a bit of a Twilight Struggle vibe to it for me uh, in yes. some ways, in some ways. And uh, with the opponent event triggering that, it, it's a lot harder to mitigate opponent yes. events. Yes. Well, you have to put them out there on the discard pile where they are vulnerable to being played um, instead yes. of a instead of a card in hand. So it can be a bit uh, now. And again, we don't claim to be experts. I think, you know, we've played, I don't know, five or six games or something. But um, but I, I like how this game, I like how everything kind of fits together. Um, it, it having played Fort Sumter, um, I've, I have the digital version of that. And uh, this is very, very similar. Like you can definitely tell it's a spiritual successor, yes. um, but it is totally its own thing. And there's a lot more going on in this one for sure. I do like that. Actually, I appreciate that too. The layers that you just talked about too, having those different layers of, and, and there is a ton of tactical uh, decision-making to hap that happens in this game. Yeah. Yeah. That said, I didn't feel like there was a lot of analysis paralysis though. Like you weren't overwhelmed by choices. No, the board actually is pretty simple. I would say overall. And yeah. the choices are, um, Apparently, you have enough options, but not overwhelming options, I'd say. Yes. Yeah. And it, it gives you, uh, you know, a range of choices that make sense. Uh, to, you know, the, you can evaluate things fairly easily. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a kind of a... It, but it's an interesting decision space as well, because you have a few different considerations. You have your, your, your bonus cubes, your cube tracks. You have your momentum tracks. You have your... Uh, political uh tracks and your military or sp sorry, i should say political spaces military spaces uh, balancing card events so, you know there's uh, even though it's straightforward there is enough decision making here that it'll be uh interesting entertaining um, enough yes correct yeah, yeah. Um, i really liked the commune uh, sorry the objective cards drawing the two objectives picking one going for that that's very you know the same as fort sumter basically um, the final cards and all that they, there's, I like how everything fits together. It, it just feels like I, I much, I prefer this game to Fort Sumter. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. As well, yeah. I think, uh, we, we should maybe try Fort Sumter at some point soon and you'll see where it, this game comes from, but kind of evolves think, from eh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I, I think there's much more going on here and I, I enjoy that aspect of, of the game. There's, uh, some neat maneuvering that goes on, especially around that secret objective. Yes, um, correct. I agree. Yeah. 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 Now, what did you dislike? Well, I think this game suffers from the same problem that another game that I love, except I love parts of, and that is uh, the game Churchill. Yes. Uh, Churchill has, uh, of course, a massive board, and it's got the two different, kind of almost two different, it's like a, it's like a tale of two different games kind of going on. 
Yeah. And I find in this game, it, um, Red Flag Over Paris, I love the uh, the car driven part. I love the battling for uh, the fighting for the different uh, uh, area controls on the board. And then I just start, I kind of have a yawn moment whenever it comes to scoring and, and the the scoring was kind of a bit of a baffle to me. Uh, yeah. you, exp- you had explained it to me multiple times and um, it was one of those just almost like just, I don't know, you maybe call it a brain fart when you're trying to figure out a rule, but it just couldn't, yeah. didn't want to sink in. I, I, it didn't feel very intuitive to me. Yes. And so I didn't, I didn't love that part. I, I, I would almost just tune out when tori- scoring happened because I was more anticipating the next set of hand cards I was going to get in hand to start dealing with uh, uh, the area control again. Yeah. How, how about yourself? Well, it's interesting you say in the scoring because I found a lot of times the scoring didn't seem to, you know, matter all that much, you know, like it was um, most times if you control, say, the Royalist National Assembly Republicans, the Greens, um, there's no move that you can do that makes any sense. You know, you can't use turncoat, you can't use. So there was a lot of that where it was very sparingly used, all these special abilities that that pivotal control that pivotal space is supposed to give you that's Um, right maybe that's just the way we play the style of play that we've we you know our meta (laughs) right right adapted uh but i just found there's a lot of it like oh well yeah there's nothing i can do i control all the paris spaces great but it doesn't let me do anything but i would say that the biggest knock i have against this game is that it i didn't find it very intuitive um it's a really unusual game. It's it's one of the more unusual, unique games I've played. And that's not a bad thing. It's just it's different. Mm-hmm. And reading the rules, I was, uh, you know, and even being familiar with Fort Sumter, um, I was just, wow, this is really not intuitive. The scoring is feels kind of weird. The, it did. It did feel weird to me, yes. Yeah. And and you're moving around, you're trying to score the points and in various ways and so forth. And there's a lot about it that, you know, is flows just fine. But there's a certain unintuitiveness to it that is really. Um, I would say challenging. It is. Yeah. It just felt ch- more challenging to learn than I think it needed to be. <laughs> exactly. I, I couldn't agree more. I think they could have simplified the scoring and kept the, still the essence of the game that really makes it compelling. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Uh, but it, it does feel it's a bit unintuitive. And to be honest, if I like, we played it on rally the troops here, which has been great. Um, I don't feel a pressing need to rush out and buy this game, although I enjoyed it. Um, you know, no, I no, think... rally the troops has given just the right itch for me as well. It's, it's yeah. scratch the, scratch the right edge for that. Yeah. So. Like I'm glad we've played the games we've played would i want to own it would i bring it to gaming gaming night i don't know i get, i think it'd be tough to teach i think it'd be a bit tough to teach the the card driven part not a problem the yeah. uh the area control part not a problem as soon as you come into the scoring mm-hmm. i think you're gonna have to be cracking the real book real book out for that and, and really getting people's heads around how they score and how they actually win the game yeah yeah and, and uh um, but other than that, I mean, as far yeah, that, as yeah, that could be, a re- that's right. I was just going to say as well, that could just be a reflection of us still getting our heads around what this game offers and what it is too, as well. So that, that could be a reflection of our newer status to the game. Oh yeah, absolutely. It could absolutely be just us. <laughs> that's yeah. totally, um, but, uh, you know, but as a, as a relatively quick playing game, um, I think it teaches some interesting history. I think there's some, uh, there's some good stuff here for sure. And, absolutely uh, absolutely yeah. and in I, fact uh just before we we uh, came on today i asked you to fire a game up so i did yeah you know i, I we had just finished our last one so i i still i really do like this game yeah i think it, i think it's a it's a fun game as i said would it is it the first game i would bring to gaming night is it one that i'd show my our colleague flash probably not but uh but do i like it yeah i think it's it's a good game and it's my i i like it much more than fort sumter I liked what Fort Sumter was trying to do. I just didn't feel like it was uh, as compelling a, a design as it could have been. But this does show you an improvement on that on that design and what this game system could can do. And I think that there's a lot of uh, p- real promise there for future games um, to develop things even further. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, final thoughts on the game. 
Um, yeah, if 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 you like this uh, a kind of a, a lighter war themed game, I wouldn't say it's a war game exactly, but it's uh, it's kind of a, reflecting an interesting moment in history and so forth. Uh, yeah, I, I would say that for the right person, I think this would be a really great choice. But I would also say give it a try before you buy. Um, see if it's absolutely that you you uh, would enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rally the Troops is a great source for that. And, and go through a few rounds, see if you enjoy it, have a, have a read over the rules. Yeah. Um, maybe play some uh, some folks online and try it out. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks so much for watching our uh, little uh, review here. And we hope uh, y- you got some insight from it. If you did, take uh, a moment to uh, like and subscribe and comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the game. This has been Legendary Tactics. <laughs>